be one of the most important videos you ever watch in your entire life. So pay attention. But quick disclaimer, this video is based on community discussions and relevant sources. Numbers and facts listed may not be up to date, valid or in any specific order. Okay, so this video is basically trash. Click off the video guys. But before you click off, make sure to slap that like button. Thank you. 82%, okay. I shouldn't even be reading the um, percentages because like they just said, they could not be right. But 82% knew this. Say location first when calling the cops. Even if the call is cut off, they'll know where to find you. I mean, yeah, but also don't they like know where your phone is? Like just by you calling them, they like have your location. But still do this guys, do what they said. 75% knew to don't go home if you're being followed. Well, no, really? I thought if someone was following me and they had a weapon, that I would just bring them to my house, walk inside, leave the door unlocked so they could just come in after me. Instead, you should head to a crowded area or a police station nearby. Don't bring them to your house. Now that's genius. If they're following you guys, just drive them right into a police station. Boom. 63% knew to check chest and left arm pain. Huh? Check chest and left arm pain. Never ever ignore chest pain. 20% of cases of serious pain are a heart issue. Hmm. I swear this happens to everybody. Do you guys ever get like a, just a sharp pain in your chest? Do you think it's your heart, but then it just goes away? Because I know lots of my friends has happened to that too. Because I was like, does this ever happen to you? And they said, yes, it does. So I don't know. 55% of people knew this. Stop, drop, and roll when on fire. If your clothes catch on fire, do this immediately to smooth it. The smother, smother the flames, yes. If you guys don't know what, the, what they're talking about, stop, drop, and roll. What I was trying to say earlier is, wait, did you guys even see that? Maybe, maybe a bit of it. Is, did you guys ever get those presentations where like the firefighter guys would like come into your school and do like that presentation? 53% knew to always keep your clothes dry. Huh? Doing this will get you warm faster in case of low temperatures. Well, what happens if I'm chugging a big swig of my big water bottle here and it goes whoop do you? Are you telling me to rip this shirt off and go dry it right away? I don't think I'm gonna do that. 50% knew this. Don't stand under doors in earthquakes. Don't stand under doors. How the heck do you stand under a door? If there's a door right here, guys, don't stand under it. You think I'm gonna fit under it, huh? This is a common misconception. It will not prevent injury. 48% knew this. Don't move after snake bites. Moving your limbs will only make the venom spread quick through your body. If I got bit by a snake, you're telling me to just stay there? Don't call the police, just stay there, huh? 46% knew um, that unloaded guns before cleaning them. Unload gun. I think that's just common sense. If you're cleaning a gun, you won't want a, a bullet in there that could possibly shoot, right? 44% knew this. Your mind warns up you about danger. Your subconscious mind picks up signs that your conscious mind doesn't. Interesting, because there's been some times where I've been like, this is not good. This is, this is, this ain't it, guys. But I am a big overthinker too, so. 42% knew this. Hold nose when jumping into water. Wait, actually? This protects against infiltration by dangerous amoeba. If you guys don't know what that means, it's like an insect or a parasite that gets into your nose from dirty water and then it like dis does some stuff in you. I don't know. That's only if it's like dirty water. So if you're in a pool, you should be fine. But I actually got made fun of for doing that. When I would like jump off of a boat into the water and go, <laughs> what are you doing? You have to, you have to hold your nose shut. <laughs> and now, guys, though, I learned. Well, I learned this a while ago, but because they would make fun of me. Now, when you jump, just breathe out as out of your nose as hard as you can. Just go <sighs> right before you get into the water, and the water won't get in your nose. Forty-one percent knew this. Police don't need warrants. How is this going to save my life? Um, they can search your car if they have a reason to. They don't need a warrant. Good to know. Forty percent knew to hide in a subway station from bombs underground and made of concrete. These make ideal bomb shelters, I guess. So what happens if I'm watching the news and someone says there's a bomb like within a couple of meters of my house? Am I supposed to go to a train station? I think just traveling as far away from the bomb as possible would work, but okay. 37% knew to don't move if lost in forest. Okay, so if you're lost in the forest, just stay there until you starve to death. Makes sense. Unless you know the route, it'll be much easier for the rescue team to find you. Okay. Okay. 35% knew this. Run through bushes to escape bees. Really? Running through shrubs or bushes will distract bees. Well, I was always told to just stand still. Because the more you move, the more the bee will be like, I'm coming for you. I've actually never been bitten by a bee though. So I must be doing it right. 33% knew to never put legs on the dashboard. Ooh, airbags deploy at hundreds of miles per hour. I could break your legs. Yeah, that. I'm just picturing that. Your legs and the, the, the bags. <laughs> 31% knew to never try to disarm someone. A gun trigger can be pulled much faster than an average person can react. Hey, I've seen it be been done in the movies though. The gun is like right here and they're like, you know, but that's a movie. Movies aren't real life. 30% knew to don't shout if stuck in a rubble. The heck is a rubble? You only exhaust yourself by screaming. Only do it when someone's nearby. Okay, if you're in a rubble, what the heck does a rubble mean? If you're just stuck, I don't know. 29% knew to never keep food inside tents because the bears will come get it. Doing this can possibly attract the hungry predator to, to your camp. Yes. And that is why, guys, if you're camping in a camper or anything, you had the food out, the bears were going to come get it. That's what they did where I live anyway. 25% knew to don't sleep in the extreme...
Don't sleep in the extreme cold. Really? I think this is common sense that like if it's freezing cold outside, you should not be like just sleeping outside. You should be like sleeping inside. 23% knew this. Lay down during a nuclear bombing. This will protect any exposed skin from being burned off. Okay, good to know. 20% knew tree bark is edible? Really? In a desperate situation, raw tree bark will provide vital calories and some nutrients. Really? Now that's probably the best tip we've got on this whole video, because I did not know that. But bark is so hard. How would you even chew that? That would like hurt your throat. 19% knew to don't fall when stuck in a stampede. If you lose your ground during a stampede, you're most likely to stampede. What kind of stampede are we talking? Like a horse stampede or just a stampede of people running? I mean, obviously you don't want to fall, but I don't think, like if you fall, it's usually not your fault. It's like you tripped or something. So obviously you don't want to fall. 18% knew to use headrest to break car windows. Aha, did you know that guys? They're like metal prongs. Take the headrest off, upside down, metal prong. You can detach the headrest from the seat and use it to break the window. Yes, that's a good one too. Like say you, you drive into a lake, the water's coming in, you're like, oh, how do I get out? How do I get out? You're out. 17% knew this. Make a torch from tree arisen. What's arisen? Riz? Risen? Sap that pours from trees is flammable, flammable, and lit on the end of a stick, a long lasting light. Very interesting. Resin is sap, apparently. 60% knew to focus on one person to get help. You're more likely to get help this way. This is called the bystander. Focus on one person to get help. What kind of situation are we talking though? Like if I'm in public and something's happened to me, I'm not just gonna be like, you, I know you're not looking at me and you're walking the other direction, but I'm gonna focus on you because I have a better chance of you turning around and coming over to help me when there's millions of people that I could go, help me. 50% knew that if your drink tastes odd, leave it, okay? I'm sure a lot more than 15% knew this. Oh, I hope, because that's like kind of common sense. Like one, you should never leave a drink. Like if I have this water bottle in public and I leave it in the busiest section in downtown of something, the city, and I leave it here, I go away and I come back, there's no way I'm drinking it. There's no way. People these days are too, you know, like someone could come by, hee hee hee, look at this, I'm gonna put some stuff in it, hee 14% new to check for glowing eyes on roads. Ah, yes, because it could be a deer. Doing this while driving at night can prevent you from hitting an animal. Or any any animal, I guess. Thirty percent new to don't drink brown coconut milk. I've never drank a coconut. Have you guys? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, slap the like button. Thank you so much. It can make you feel sick or even cause you to get dehydrated. Twelve percent new to create a gas mask with a bottle. In a chemical attack, attach a water bottle filled with a pillow. Okay, wait, 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 wait. In a chemical attack, attach a water bottle filled with pillow stuffing to filter the air. If you're at your house, okay, but how the heck are you gonna get pillow stuffing if you're just out and, up, out and about and gas comes? 11% knew, if a power line falls nearby, don't walk. You need to get both feet down at the same time and bunny hop to safety. You guys remember when he did, or maybe you guys are still doing this, like bus, what is it, like school bus evacuations? Did you guys, do you guys do that in school? My school did anyway. I'm sure everybody, every school does that. But like, there's two methods, and now I forget which one is which, because this one is saying the hop. So go like this guys, keep your feet grounded and hop because I guess something to do with having one and going, Brrr. I don't know. But then there's the other way where you jump off the bus and then you keep your feet on the ground, right? Is that the same thing that us hopping? I don't know. Don't don't go by what I just said because I don't want you guys to get hurt because I have no clue what the heck I'm talking about. Well, yeah, what was I, why did I have my headphones on? 10% knew to crawl if on thin ice. This way less pressure is applied on ice and it is less likely to break. Rule number one, do not go on ice if it is thin. Like, what were you thinking? Why were you, why are you on ice to begin with? 9% knew that you use honey on wounds. Really? I know you use honey in your, like if you have a sore throat, but I never knew on like an open wound. It has antibacterial properties and retain moisture to help speed up healing. Interesting. Speed up healing, eh? 8% knew to don't inflate life jackets on planes. It'll make it harder for you to move to the emergency exit. Okay. 7% knew to apply pressure for 10 minutes. It takes around 10 minutes for blood clots to form. Their function is to stop bleeding. Wait, don't you, you don't want blood clots though, do you? I guess if it clots like on the outside to like clot, you know, but like not, not on the inside, that's bad. Maybe that's what they're talking about though. Like if you get a cut, like if I scratch a pimple, cause I always get pimples cause I love my milk and I just get pimples from milk and dairy. But uh, <laughs> if I get a pimple and I go, and it starts to bleed and then it like dries. I'm guessing that's what they're meaning. They like clots up. Okay, 6.3% knew to put phone on battery saving mode. This can be an important lifeline if you're lost. Preserve it as long as you can. I mean, yeah, I guess if you're going somewhere where there's no charging or anything. 6% knew to use 112 when on vacation. This international emergency number works is most countries. Come on guys, who is editing this video? Smart up, works in most countries. 112, I'm probably not gonna remember that. 911 is easy to remember. But one, one, two? Why not one, two, three? 5.5 knew to bury self at night in the 
Desert? The desert can get extremely cold. Cold? Desert cold? Never heard of such a thing. Burying in sand will provide insulation. Yeah, we also suffocate. Since when does it is a desert cold? Do deserts get cold at night? 5% do that bowling can kill you? The pin setting machine has enough power to kill you if you get near. Well, don't go near the pin setting machine. Unless you work there, why would you get... Like, the lane is massive. How the heck are you gonna get... Are you just gonna run into it or what? You're gonna be like, you're gonna act like the bowling ball and go on the lane and go into it or what? What are we talking about? 4.7% knew this. Stay low when in a fire. By staying low to the ground, you're gonna get more oxygen inside your body. Yes, because the smoke is up or something. And the oxygen is down low. No, not as much smoke. I don't know. I forget, I forget how it works. 4% knew to feed first when diving from height. Olympic divers don't do that. So why should I? 3.4% knew to don't fix your own microwave. A microwave can hold an electrical charge even after it's been unplugged. 3% knew to always keep candles in your car? As long as you have a candle lit in your car, you won't freeze to death. Really? I might have to add that to my little survival kit. 2.6% knew you can't count daytime with fingers. Extend your hand. Well, you can. How? I remember as a kid, we do that. Oh, it's 3.45. Extend your hand at the horizon. The sun will travel an hour in four. What if you have fat fingers? What if you have skinny fingers? I don't know. 2% knew to burn a tire to signal for help. Okay, but how do you burn it? If your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, a burning tire will produce black smoke. Okay, but how the heck do you put it on fire? 1.7% knew to never camp directly under trees, especially if it's windy. A branch can fall off the tree and kill you. 1.3% knew to metallic taste in your mouth. You might be about to get struck by lightning. How the heck does that make any sense? The lightning, what does it do? Like charge you up first? I'm gonna make some metallic. Or what? 1% knew to baking soda can put out fire. It releases carbon dioxide when heated, which can smother, smother the fire. Baking soda, eh? 0.8% knew that soap will attract fish. If you're struggling to catch anything, rub soap onto your bait to set a trap. Really? Does that actually work though? Because remember at the start, they said these facts might not be real or something. 0.4% knew inflammable means flammable. What? I never knew that. They both mean easily ignited. Non-flammable means not easily ignited. You're telling me 0.4, only 0.4% knew that inflammable meant that it's inflammable. Really? 0.1% knew this. Keep car keys by your bed. Pushing the panic button on the car keys can scare away a house robber. Interesting. I didn't do that. But maybe I have to. That's actually a good one. You hear someone in your house with the car alarm, they'll be like, oh god, oh my god, what do I do? What if they have a weapon? Then it's game over. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.